Hello, this is Guillermo Campitelli, and in this video I'm going to talk about um, the causal relationships that are represented in causal models. This is the simplest causal relationship, x causes y, or alternatively, y causes x. In this case we've got a causal chain. We've got three variables, x causes v and v causes y. Now, this model is saying something else than this. It is saying also that variable x doesn't cause double uh, variable y independently from the, the um, relationship between v and y. Otherwise, it should have an arrow here. And what it's also saying is that variable v mediates the relationship between x and y. What does this mean? It means that let's say we get, we get data in variable x and data in variable y and we see that there is an association. So that means that the higher the values of x, the higher the values of y. That's a positive association or a positive correlation. Now if we've got a negative correlation it is it is the same uh, it is an association or correlation but the difference is that the higher the values of x the lower the values of y um, okay so let's say there is an association between x and y but this association when we take v into account disappears because that association is explained by the causal relationship between v and y. So th that means that the association between x and y is fully mediated by the, re the causal relationship between v and y. In this case, one aspect of the association between x and y are explained by the relationship between by but the fact that x causes v and v causes y but um, an aspect of the relationship between x and y is independent from that path uh, so x causes y also independently from that path so although there is some mediation of the relationship between x and y there is no there isn't a full mediation. An important concept is the concept of common cause. Let's say we, we, we um, find an association between X and Y. It could be the case that X causes Y or Y causes X or the case represented in this causal model. In fact, there is no, no causal relationship between X and Y another variable or a composite of variables u is a common cause so u causes both x and y and that is why these two variables are associated okay so let's uh, give some examples and the color of the nodes change because now we are talking about measure variables X and Y were, were um, abstract uh, variables, so we represent them with latent variables, as latent variables. So these are measure of observed variables. Um, we've got uh, um, here a study about schools, and here we've got the student-to-staff uh, ratio, or SSR, P is the prestige of the school and TQ is the teaching quality in the school. So basically in, in this case, let's say we find an association between P and TQ. So the schools that have more prestige, um, they also have higher teaching quality. So their re causal relationship may be that because schools have higher teaching quality that crosses increases the prestige so how 
parents per perceive the different schools um, or the other way around people uh, because um, some schools are perceived um, better as better than others they attract better teachers and the, and the teaching teaching quality improves but another alternative is the one represented in this causal model which is both P and uh, P and TQ are not causally related. Uh, in fact, they are both caused by another variable, which is called students to staff ratio. So basically, and here the, the relationship is negative because the lower the student to staff ratio, so the, the lower the number of students you have per each staff, uh, the higher the prestige. Um, and the lower the, the student staff ratio, the higher the teaching quality. And because this variable is, I suppose, um, causing changes in the values of the of the other, of, of P and T Q, then they are uh, related. They are associated or correlated. But that correlation is not because they are these two variables are causally related. Okay, here we've got a more complex structure in which there, are, there is a simple uh, causal relationships and there is a chain as well. So here we've got students to staff ratio, prestige of the school, teaching quality and academic achievement. Now academic achievement is uh, measured in students and not in the schools. So here we've got um, the model says that student staff ratio variable causes the prestige variable. Uh, student staff ratio also causes teaching quality, and teaching quality is uh, causally linked to academic academic achievement. So that's easy to uh, detect. That is represented in the graph, but it's also important things that are not 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 clearly. And are not explicitly represented. But when there is no arrow, means that we are saying there is no relationship between the prestige of the school and the academic achievement of the students. Um, as we said before, as in the previous model, there is no causal relationship between P and TQ. And also, student to staff ratio is not independently related to academic achievement. So student staff ratio, the association that we may find, so if we uh, calculate the correlation between these two variables, we will find that there is a correlation, there is an association, but that association is fully mediated by the teaching quality. So if student staff ratio uh, is related to academic achievement is because the student to staff ratio increases teaching quality. Now. An important um, consequence of this is that if we know the values of teaching quality, knowing the values of staff to st uh, student to staff ratio will not increase, will not provide more information or, or relevant information to try to predict what the values, the academic achievement of this of the school will be. Okay. Here is another important concept, which is common effect. So here we, we get uh, another variable, which is st um, study hours and uh, teaching quality that was presented before and academic achievement. And here academic achievement is caused by two variables, study hours and teaching quality. Yeah, so academic achievement is a common effect. Yes, not a common cause like before in which one variable is the cause of two variables. Actually here, one variable is the consequence or the effect of other two variables. Uh, so we say that these two variables, study hours and teaching quality, quality have a common effect.